you know, the world's climate scientists tell us that the highest safe level of emissions would be around 350 parts per million of carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. We're already at 400. They tell us that the sort of safest we could hope to do without having perilous implications as far as drought, famine, human conflict, major species extinction would be about a two degree Celsius increase in temperature. Uh, we're rapidly approaching that and with all the built in carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere, we're easily going to exceed that. So on our watch, we are facing the next major extinction of species on the earth that we haven't seen since the time of the dinosaurs disappearing. You know, when whole countries go underwater because of sea level rise, when whole countries find that there's so much drought that they can't feed their population, and as a result, they need to desperately migrate to another country or invade another country. I mean, we're gonna have climate wars in the future. And what about, what about livestock and animal agriculture? Uh, well, what about it? I mean, cows produce more greenhouse gases than the entire transportation sector. This means that raising cattle produces more greenhouse gases than all cars, trucks, trains, boats, planes combined. 13% compared to 18% for livestock. This is because cows produce a substantial amount of methane from their digestive process. Methane gas from livestock is 25 to 100 times more destructive than carbon dioxide from vehicles. The UN, along with other agencies, reported that not only did livestock play a major role in global warming, it is also the leading cause of resource consumption and environmental degradation destroying the planet today. In Al Gore's film, he describes how our Earth is in peril. Climate change stands to affect all life on this planet. From monster storms, raging wildfires, record droughts, ice caps melting, acidification of the oceans to entire countries going underwater, that could all be caused by humans' demands on the Earth. With scientists warning lest we take drastic measures to correct our environmental footprint, our time on this planet may be limited to only 50 more years.